Please be safe. Yeah, see you soon. Hi, my name is Farlan Campbell, and I'm in the Broughton Archipelago in Muskimaw's Zawadanic territory. And right now, Tavish is diving 80 feet below me. The reason we're here today is this. While I was doing underwater surveys around the salmon farms for Alexander Morton, we discovered two incredibly rare, undocumented glass sponge reefs. I had never seen anything like them before, and ever since then, I've wanted to bring Tavish back so he could film what we had discovered. I could hardly believe my eyes. It was like being on another planet. The sponge reefs my sister Farlan had found, along with Jody Erickson, were extremely rare and had never been filmed before. These sponges are ancient animals that filter silica out of the water to build their bodies, meaning they are literally made of glass. New sponges continually grow on top of the dead ones, forming their own reefs over thousands of years and becoming rich with life. These reefs thrived during the Jurassic period, but were thought to have died off 40 million years ago. Then, in 1987, a massive living reef was found off British Columbia, and the discovery was likened to finding a herd of living dinosaurs. Since then, only a handful of other reefs have been discovered in the northeastern Pacific, and as excited as I was about this one, I knew the second reef was the real reason Farlan had brought me here. But here's the problem, we're just across the channel from the first sponge reef, and here we have an open net pen salmon farm that's sitting right on top of the second sponge reef. So it's too deep for me to dive, but we have this drop camera that we're going to lower down and see what it looks like underneath the farm. What I saw on that camera made me feel sick. I could still see the sponges, but they were clearly dead and appeared to be totally smothered by waste and feces from the fish farm. These sponge reefs are exceptionally rare, existing nowhere else in the world, but this is how they're being treated in the Broughton Archipelago. Over 130 other salmon farm sites exist on the BC coast. What else is being smothered that we have yet to uncover? As devastating as this is, there's also hope and a clear solution. This dirty aquaculture industry must transition out of the ocean and onto land. 